Hi. Ooh, you're in a mood. Something great just happened. Someone just brought me a baby raccoon to nurse and take care of. Hi. I work at an animal hospital and someone had a baby raccoon stuck in their ceiling. All the wildlife rescues around here were super full at that time. She was skin and bones. So I said I would take her on. I was excited and a little terrified because I had never fostered a raccoon. When I first got Mabel, I knew she wasn't used to people and she was scared. But once I started bottle feeding her, she realized that I was okay, I think. She actually bonded to me very quickly. He's sucking on my hand. Scratch it at first. So for the first two weeks, she went from being scared and shy to thinking I was her mom. I was a little nervous. I knew that a raccoon shouldn't grow up without other raccoons because they need that play to develop their instincts. Luckily, the wildlife rescue asked if I would raise her with two more orphaned baby raccoons. We just brought home two more baby raccoons. To raise with Mabel. Mabel, look! Mabel, this is Leroy, your new brother. Oh, Mabel's not so sure. I introduced Willow and Leroy so slowly, <laughs> and Mabel at first was not so sure. Mabel's so scared. Oh, oh no. After that, she came around pretty quickly. In a day, they were all sleeping together, cuddling, purring. She was so happy to have some companions. Well, no, you can't all climb on me. Once the other two came, she became a little more raccoony. Mabel, are you climbing? Her instincts started to come out. Mabel became the leader of the pack, really brought out their personalities. You guys are wild. You know, you could pick different spots of the cage. So you don't step on each other. They were getting bigger and messier. So we knew it was time we transitioned them to the outdoor enclosure. The first time we brought them outside, they couldn't believe it. They were hopping around, running all different directions, going up and down. Raccoons on the loose. Hi. They were so excited, like I had never seen them that excited before. They really became a lot feistier and playful. They definitely got bigger, became a bit more wild, which is a good thing, but one morning, I walked out to give them breakfast. So, I just woke up to quite a surprise. The raccoons dug their way out last night, and they're gone. And I just don't know what to do about that. They weren't supposed to be released yet, so I was pretty nervous that they wouldn't be okay by themselves. The rescue said, don't worry, they'll probably come home when they get hungry. Mabel's home. Come on, girly. Leroy just came back. Hi, baby. Oh, I'm so happy. Got the home, put them back in the enclosure. We had fixed the hole. We thought everything was fine. And then I'd say within three days, they were gone again. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> the second time I was like, okay, this is what they're gonna do. Adam made them a little trap door back there come and go as they please. We just kind of left the enclosure open. They were figuring out how to be little grown-up raccoons. They come back to visit me every night. It makes me so happy. It makes me feel like I did a good job raising them. 